Hello YouTube, welcome back to my video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can uh, run command prompt commands using PHP. Okay, so I have my simple PHP server set up in my Windows PC. If you don't know how to set up a simple PHP server, please go to my uh, videos. I have another video how you can uh, create a simple PHP server in your Windows PC. Okay. The simple PHP server which I have installed my PC is known as the exam server. Okay. So I have, uh, as I told, I have another video how you can uh, set up and run your PHP programs in your Windows PC. Okay. Okay. Now this is my exam control panel where I can start my Apache server. So if I'm just clicking start and go into my local host, let me uh, open my browser. And if I'm just typing local host, there won't be any page coming okay so uh, we can uh, have your php page is here inside the exam folder there will be a, a folder named htdocs okay where you can create uh, your php pages so i'm going to create a fresh uh, php page here so it's like index.php so let me open this index.php in my notepad plus plus where I can write my PHP pages. Okay. Now I'm just simply writing my name and just saving this and let's see in my browser what is coming. Now it will definitely load my index.php and uh, what I have written in the page is showing in my browser. Okay. Now we are going to write a symbol. Uh, command from uh, the command prompt and uh, execute that commands without any error okay so how we can do is first open your PHP tags yes I have just opened my PHP tags and so inside this you can write the shell exec to execute uh, the my uh, the command prompt commands okay inside this you have to write the commands so let me open uh, my command prompt I am writing a simple command to start calculator of your windows pc okay so it is like start calc if i am just and you can see my calculator is getting started now i am trying the same command from the php page so it is like start calc that's all just save it Go to your browser and if I'm just going to local host and just entering you can see my calculator is getting started okay so this is from uh, the backend uh, PHP pages so uh, by like this you can also start any application or any other functionality or any other bad file you can start like this okay now if you want to get the output from uh, i mean you have sometimes you can get the, some uh, values after executing a command for example so here if i am uh, checking my ip config details so it is like ip config slash all and just in you can see sorry it's backslash it should be forward slash okay i can see all my ip address uh, related details and my pc everything okay PC DJs everything now uh, for this command I am getting a, a response from uh, the command so you can get the response and print that response in your browser PHP pages so that you can do like this so now I am going to declare a variable here so I'm the variable name I am giving test out okay so what will happen is this will execute that command and whatever is the result it will be uh, taken into this variable okay so i am uh, trying to execute the same command which i have shown here ip config all and simply echo or print this variable so that it will come on the browser itself okay let's see here it is and now let me open my local host my browser and if I'm just opening my local host page again you can see all of the result has been shown here which have we got directly while executing the IP config all okay so we can arrange this by adding the PRE tag uh, before and after this output so it will be ordered let's try so it will be like this PRE and uh, re okay just save it go to browser if i'm just refreshing you can see it will be ordered as like the same way which we got while executing that from the command prompt okay so hope you got this how to execute command prompt commands using uh within the php page 
so uh, with this method i'll in my next video I, i'll show you how you can convert an image uh, to text uh, with help of uh, this php and command prompt okay and you can execute that within the php page itself okay so hope you got this if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you i'll share all the source code in my description you can have it and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching